Here's the thing, winters in Korea are freaking cold. I come from the East Coast where one, we get mad snow, two, it gets hella cold up in there. However, the cold in Korea, it just like gets into your bones, cracks all your bones, and then you're just there like because it just, it gets super duper cold. My dad, who is someone that's always like, oh, it's not that cold, like yeah. When he came here during Christmas time, he like went up to me and he was like, mija, te respeto. In this meter spittle. It's like, I don't know how you're doing it. And I was like, me neither, man, but here we are. Normally, for the winter time, I dress like this Bonk. because I just don't want to feel anything. I'm like, I don't want to feel anything. That sounds insane. But I also have so many coats that I never get to wear. So I thought I would challenge myself. Really tried not to wear my long padding. I only wore it once. Only thing though, like the first three days it was pretty cold. And then after that, pretty much like normal temperature, like maybe three to seven degrees Celsius. Oh, well, I hope this still kind of is useful for any of you guys. Let me first start off by saying that with a lot of these outfits, I am um, doubling up wearing a lot of layers. If you heard of Uniqlo Heat Tech, Ju is under Uniqlo and they have their own Heat Tech style, but it's cheaper cheaper. Yeah, this is like the extra warm. I've wore these, I think, for a lot of my outfits. Um, my base outfit for Monday were leggings, not the GU extra warm ones. Underneath these amazing corduroy pants and gray turtleneck. Now that I actually own one, I could finally do that cool kid style of t-shirt over turtleneck. I'm a day late and a dollar short on this trend, but whatever. <laughs> this Sailor Moon one is from Uniqlo, and I totally fell in love with the muted color contrast going on here. You already see the monochromatic vibes coming through, but I wanted to give the outfit a little break, so I threw on this white belt, which is also key to not losing your weight in your winter outfits. I popped on a purple beret because might as well just go big because I clearly can't go home because I gotta go to work. This blazer from Flea Madonna, is it warm? No. The reason why I put it is just because it gave some structure to this outfit. I also love that it just spiced it up that much more by adding a bold pattern to the mix. I added even more purple with these Nike sneakers. To go match with the turtleneck, I wore these silver earrings from WeGo that also matched the hardware on my belt. Of course, I wore a scarf because we gotta keep the neck warm. And driving home this outfit is this coat that I bought in Peru over a decade ago. From like some store in Yoke Plaza, ni me recuerdo. It's just a really good reminder that when it comes to winter time, you don't have to always be in black. You could wear some colors in your life. And that's why I really liked this outfit. <laughs> And I'll see you the next day. Bye bye. <laughs> Going out like this, I hope this is gonna be enough. back home and yeah so this outfit was great for outside however like if you don't know korean schools it's not like the hallways are heated or anything it's normally just the classrooms you know like you'll always see like kids like walking around in their long thick jackets and their padding and in my office though normally like my coworkers have like their jackets on i didn't have my jacket on because i feel like it's uncomfortable to have your jacket on the whole day our heater is broken someone came in to fix it last week and it's still broken since I was going to the gym after work, I thought just to make the process easier by wearing my workout leggings underneath as part of my base. So instead of like the extra warm uh, that has like the fleece inside, I just wore this thin GU warm. These things are great because they're so thin, so you can just wear this underneath any type of clothing. I then slipped into these acid wash jeans from GU and I love how they are balloon leg, meaning wider at the hips and tapered at the bottom. This mesh dress is also from GU. It added no warmth to my outfit though, but it was cute, so all good in my book. For my pop of color, I chose a super warm and cozy knitted cardigan from Murua. You can never go wrong with wearing something classic like these earrings from Twice Shy and these black booties that you will be seeing again and again throughout this video. For extra comfiness, I threw on this fuzzy beret that I bought from the Pyeonghwa clothing market and actually this next scarf is from there too. And if you're wearing a scarf, always put on your scarf before you put on your jacket. It's just gonna look a lot better. Put this on too. Here's our final look. I think this is very cute because it has a lot of different layers going on. This is a lot of black, but you can always add in little pops of color here and there. See you in the next day. I'm gonna wear this outfit with heels, but because I have to go to the gym, so I'm just gonna switch out this outfit for my sneakers. My hair tie just flew out. Headphones and it literally just fell in that. I think 
I would have been okay with just wearing these jeans, but in my office it was cold. Like the weather right now isn't bad at all. I'm happy. Definitely don't need this hat and earmuff, but my head feels cozy, so that's good. Starting off with the basics, again, this is another GU uh, extra warm style. This might seem like a GU ad. It's not, but GU, please sponsor me. I wore these twice shy earrings that fit the outfit very well. This day it wasn't actually that cold. As you can see with all these outfits, turtlenecks are the way to go. This is a really cute shirt that I got from ASOS. I am wearing the GU extra warm leggings and they keep me nice and toasty. And then I'm just gonna throw on this monkey skirt. And to continue with the whole pink vibe, I decided to wear fuzzy socks that I got from WeGo. Cute. So I can't find my black beret. No, it's not this one. This is my Sailor Moon one. Brought this also as an extra security because of my job. I just wanted to make sure I had like an additional blanket covering me because I know I was gonna be freezing at some point. And then I have this jacket again. I brought my earmuffs just in case. Maybe I shouldn't show the pink. Okay, there we go. More streamlined so your legs look longer. But back in middle school, I was like really into Screamo and just like makes me remember those times. This is a very nostalgic color combination for me. So now let's get into the day that I actually wore this outfit. See you in the next one. I put today's outfit together and so freaking cool. I really like it. Oh. I brought earmuffs just in case. I'm scared if it is gonna be too cold. Wow, the weather is so nice. Definitely feel like I overdress in terms of warmth. a lot chillier a lot windier outside <laughs> but once i put on my earmuffs thank god i brought them put up the little hood put my hands in my pocket because i didn't bring my gloves this time i was pretty much warm so we were good to go yeah that's it i'll see you guys tomorrow starting off one more time with gu warm turtleneck and i put on these also gu jeans oh they're so tight and then i'm also putting on these fuzzy socks if i can bend down okay huh. This like definitely keeps me warm, so I thought if I just put a cardigan on top of it, it will just give me that extra little warmth. I added in this blue scarf too. Here's a little tip. I have two of the same style of boots. This is a size seven, this is a size six, but it's in wide. What I found is that definitely when I'm also wearing these fuzzy as socks, obviously bigger shoes help out because one, they have the space to accommodate that. And it also just keeps your foot even just more insulated. I feel like trusty handy dandy earmuffs and my hat. Thank God I did not curl the top of my head because like honestly, para que? Because all of this is stuff with them. Oh, and I also added in these earrings. These are from Ana Luisa. Ba bam As you can see, I'm definitely loving that kind of like 70s flare jeans. They really flat for my legs. Now let's get into the day that I actually wore this and I'll see you later. There was a piece of tape on this scarf the whole time. Did you see that? And well, definitely now you saw it, but. I think I should be warm enough. Today has been complete torture with these jeans. Even trying to put on my shoes right now. Oh. Underneath, GU extra warm tights and extra warm turtleneck. Look at these jeans from GU. They are so freaking cute. I wanted the turtleneck to have its moment, so I wore the satin PJ shirt on top, and to not lose my waist, I wore a belt. I really like the pairing of this satiny pajama style, but then wearing a turtleneck underneath. I think it looks very cool girl style. And I just paired it with some gold earrings because of the gold that is in the shirt. Put on my grandma's sweater. 
I don't know how old this is. You just always need that extra layer, man. It's cold. When it comes to like winter time, I feel like a lot of people always tend to wear black. So I tried really hard to add in some type of color any way that it could. I really wanted to wear this fur coat because I've never worn it, even though I thrifted it like two years ago. And I really wanted to, I always was like, it's not the right time, like I shouldn't or something. I feel like the 70s chic girl I was always meant to be. Looking so cute. Yeah. Now let's get to the footage of me actually wearing this outfit out. Oh, moment of truth, it's pretty cold outside. My legs have warmed up finally. But damn, this was a bad idea. I should have just worn my longer jacket. And I can't put this on my arm. I did a 20 minute walk back to my house. I will say my legs, my thighs were feeling pretty chilly, but definitely all up here was like super freaking warm. My head is, is sweaty. Does my boobs sweat? I, I do really think this was a pretty bearable outfit. Yeah, okay, so let's see tomorrow's outfit. I was going to an event. The theme was red, green, or silver. So for this outfit, I wore some fishnet stockings and of course always gotta be protected. And I decided to wear this beautiful green skirt then I wore this cute little shirt from Topshop then I decided to put on this scarf voila the main point were these earrings I found out on that day of that event that people were like oh my god did you get that H&M because H&M came out with like those same type of earrings and I was like I had these DIY three years ago so Initially when I left my house, I wore this blazer as well. But once I actually got to the event, I ended up just taking it off anyways. But just to show you what I initially went out with, with this outfit, I wore these open toe strappy heels. Bro, it was cold that night. This is the only outfit that I actually had to go and wear my long padding with. I really didn't want to wear layers on layers of things. I was super warm, except for this. Let's go to the event and I'll see you tomorrow. I put on smaller heels, some socks, and we're going. Thus far, my feet are damn little cold. I feel like I should have just worn boots, but I didn't want to carry that back in my bag. Damn, I feel dumb. Do I feel like an idiot? A little bit. Oh my god, I made it. <laughs> so we're here at uh, last winter night. I'm a and... You look so good. Did you show your outfit? Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, I got shorts. No big old t shirt. <laughs> Girl, work it, work it, work it. Oh my Jesus, it's okay. were like more than fine. I don't think they felt anything, but this little sliver of skin was cowed. I'm going to have a nice cup of Thai tea with almond milk, maybe a cookie, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So for this day, I took myself out on a date. Um, I don't know if you guys watched that video already. Darn it, okay, this is gonna take forever again. Putting on necklaces is literally maybe the only reason why I would ever want a boyfriend. Trying to do this by myself is a nightmare. Oh, I did it. Oh, wait, I have to put on another one. Oh, holy crap, I did it. I don't need no man. 
I need no man and they're right side up. Definitely one of my favorite outfits I've ever done because it just looked so cute. Cinched at my waist, this layers a little bit out, like 90s, like boxy style. Just paired on some tights and like it was pretty cold, but I wanted to see how much my legs could take. Popped on my cowboy boots. These are pretty thick and also it covers a good length of my leg. Some extra warmth. This is a knitted cardigan my mom did for me. For a little baby bit pop of color, I threw on this scarf that I knitted myself. Clearly, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I did it and I'm proud. And then I wore my Zara jacket that I've had that jacket since high school. My mom bought this for me as a present. Thank you, mommy. I still love it to this day. It's a really great way of reusing clothing that you wouldn't think that you could wear during the winter time, but you can just wear some layers underneath. <laughs> Currently right now, I think it's like five degrees, bad at all. Definitely my legs are a little bit colder than my top part of my body, but that's fine. It's not that bad. You know, I'm getting some use out of my coats, which is something that I don't normally do since I've been in Korea, because anytime it just gets cold, I'll just automatically switch over to my padding. It's too much effort, but I decided to take it and I'm happier. <laughs> getting some use out of my old jackets again. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really hope that you found this video useful, helpful. I'm happy that I did this video because it really made me get creative and make use of all these freaking clothes that I have. Hope to maybe do this like later on, like maybe in February when it gets like legit, legit cold. Like also it's just a really good thing to keep in mind if you are visiting Korea within the colder months. Good luck on anything that's happening in your life, whether it is an interview, a test. If you want to go ahead and ask out that girl, boy, or person that you really like. I'm rooting for you, you can do it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope this video finds you safe. Bye.